What is going on, Washington football fans? This is another video coming at you from the Washington Football Report. This is JD. Let's dive into this. So, this is a topic I've not really talked about much on this channel, if, if at all. I've mentioned it on YouTube. It's finally actually, a, I think, actually a possibility now. So, I will address this um, topic. So, Dak Prescott, who played for Dallas for the last four or five years, is a free agent, and Dallas cannot afford to franchise tag him. It takes about $37 million to franchise tag him, and Dallas only has about $19 million in salary cap space. I think Washington has a legitimate chance to get Dak Prescott. Now, I'm going to give my opinion on this. I'm not the biggest Dak Prescott fan, okay? I'm not the biggest fan of him. I think he's a pretty decent quarterback. I think he's definitely a starter level quarterback. I don't think he's like top five or top 10. Um, but I do think he's a pretty good quarterback. Um, and in the year that, his rookie year, I, I said, I actually said on this channel, it might have been on my old channel, but I'm pretty glad I said on this channel that the Dallas Cowboys looked better with him rather than Tony Romo. He's more mobile. Um, he's a bigger body guy. He can take more hits, so on and so forth. So I actually said that I think they would they were better with him rather than Tony Romo. Now, my opinion on this is I, I just I, I I what sticks in my mind with with Dak Prescott is a couple years ago he looked like straight up garbage until they traded for Amari Cooper. Once they traded for Amari Cooper, the light switch came on, and he all of a sudden is a more effective quarterback. Not the greatest quarterback, but a more effective. Now, last year in the first four games, probably the first four-game season start of a, a, a season any quarterback's ever had before he got injured against the against the uh, Giants. Okay, it, by no means am I saying that Dak Prescott's not a great or good quarterback. I think he is a pretty good quarterback. I don't think he's great. Um, I think there are other options out there that I personally would rather have. But this is the Washington Football Report, and this is a topic that people seem to talk about a lot on Twitter, so I'm going to go over this. Would I be okay with signing Dak Prescott? Yes. I would be okay with Washington going after Dak Prescott. You know, um, basically you're taking the best player off of our opponent. Um, he was the best player on our team last year, there's no doubt about that. You're taking the best player off, our, off an opponent. Our opponent would have to scramble to get a quarterback either in the draft. They're going to sign someone like Jameis Winston or maybe Cam Newton or resign Andy Dalton, whatever. So you're going to get that. that that's the response that Dallas is going to have. And then we're back to the point where do we have the best quarterback in the division? Um, is it Was Dak just good for Dallas? Is it, can he good, play good for I just don't know. I don't know those answers. But I would be okay with Washington signing Dak Prescott if the contract's right. Um, I think $30 million a year is not a bad option for a quarterback. Now, here's the, my one qualms with this right now. Is Washington has, like, we can literally fill two or three spots on our roster right now. And we're contenders. And we could probably trade for another quarterback that could be a lot less uh, financial burden on us. Let's not do what Dallas did. Dallas, oh, excuse me. Dallas paid a bunch of players. I'm just tapping to make sure it's uh, not going to uh, close out on me. Dallas paid a lot of players too much money. Now he doesn't have enough money for their quarterback. I don't want to pay Dak Prescott uh, and other players too much money not have enough money to sign Chase Young or Montez Sweat when they come available. Or even Terry McLaurin would be another great example. So I don't want to do that. I don't want Washington to be stuck in a situation where we're going to uh, have to, you know, get rid of our uh, one of our best players and make sure we have our quarterback. Um, that's what's going to have to happen with Dallas right now. They're going to have to cut, like, Amari Cooper or Ezekiel Elliott or someone else on their team to make the money to sign him. I think we're, Washington, if they would offer him, like, $30 million a year over five years with, I don't know, $90 million guaranteed, whatever you want to call it, um, I think Washington would, I think it would put Washington in a very good spot um, when it comes to being competitive in, in the NFL and in the division as, as a whole. Um, do, I, do I personally want that? No. 
I think Washington can find a quarterback either A, in the draft, and we can have our own homegrown quarterback, or or B, we can trade for one, uh, someone who's like got a year left in their deal, um, not as expensive as $30 million a year. Um, that would be my preference because I think this is a year where we can get a lot of guys in free agency because we actually have cap space. I don't want to use up every drop of cap space just for signing a player, just signing a, a player and quarterback. Um, like, for example, if we trade it for, I know we're not going to get this, so don't think it's going to be an option, but Deshaun Watson, we only owe him $14 million this year. That's cheaper than paying $30 million right now. Now, maybe Dak Prescott would be okay taking like a lesser amount this year and then having more loaded in the back end of his contract. Um, that's possible. Uh, like I said, I, I I look at it as the enemy. That's the way I do. It's the way I am. I'm hardwired as a Washington football, Washington Redskins fan. So I look at him as I don't want any of Dallas's players. I don't want their 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 um, their fall offs. I don't want their you know their whatever you want to call it. I don't want that. That's what I personally don't want. But logically, it makes sense. He is a quality quarterback. He can throw for four thousand passing yards. He doesn't turn the ball over a lot. He can run for a first down. He's mobile. He's a big body guy, and you put him on a team with a good coach. He's yet to have a good coach. You can say what you want. Jason Garrett is a mediocre coach at best. I mean, his, his whole career he was 500 with with the Dallas Cowboys. That is the you know epitome of, of media mediocrity. <sighs> that is the epitome of mediocrity. So he has not had a good coach. He has not had a, a good defense. He's had a consistently good running game, and he's had a consistently good receiving core. Washington would have to upgrade a handful of things to be effective in those regards. But logically, does it make sense? Yeah. The reason why it makes sense is you don't have to trade anything to get him. You could literally just pay him money. We don't lose draft picks. We don't lose equity in the draft for the next few years. So, for example, if we traded up for Zach Wilson, which is what I would prefer, we would lose three first-round picks to get a franchise quarterback. This fixes that problem. You know, you're, you're going to pay a little bit more cash-wise, but you're not losing assets when it comes to the draft. You can still draft first-round guys to replace guys. Like, say, for example, we lose a couple players because we can't afford them. We can draft. We have first-round picks the next two years to draft guys to replace them. So um, that's just that's just my thoughts on this. I know it's it's not exactly – I don't know I don't know how I, how I feel personally. I, I, I know how I feel. I don't know how everyone else feels. I know what I hear on um, – the Twitterverse or Twitter sphere, whatever you want to call it, uh, people they're in their discussions about Washington getting Dak, and if it's like thirty million a year, I'm okay with it. That's the running rate for a franchise quarterback. Anything more than that, and you're overpaying. I'm sorry, you're not gonna. Pay, you cannot convince me that you need to pay more Dak Prescott more than thirty million dollars a year. I get it. He's a franchise quarterback. Thirty million dollars is a franchise quarterback's pay right now, or a, or a decent, a good one, okay? That's what it's gonna cost. I understand that, I get that. But I am not going to give him $40 million a year because it's just his turn to get paid. In that case, someone else can have him. That's the way I personally feel about it. If, if Dak Prescott's looking to get, get 40 million a year or something like that, put this over here. If he's looking to get $40 million a year um, let me just put that right in the middle of his chest. Now, yeah, there we go. Now he's a Redskin guy. Okay, there we go. Okay. So if he's looking to get like $40 million a year, yeah, oh, screw that. Sorry. Nothing against him. Not paying him $40 million a year. But if he, you know, if he settles for 30 or maybe if he like takes like, it's a lesser contract and it gets a little bit more over the years and they work it out so we're not, we can sign players in the future, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with Washington giving him a four-year a hundred and twenty million dollar contract and eighty five million is guaranteed or something like that. I'm okay with that. I don't like it because I don't want to spend that much money on him, um, that guy who played for the enemy. But he is right now. If he's a free agent, he's the best available quarterback by far. And I'd rather have him rather than Mitch Trubisky, Mitch Trubisky, Cam Newton, Jameis Winston, whatever. I'd rather have Dak Prescott. I know what Dak Prescott can do. He can win games. Um, he can throw the ball. He can read defenses. He can run for first downs. He's a smart player. Okay, I, I just there's a lot of things you know, and not to mention, and this is what someone's telling me today. And, I, and like I said, I'm not a Dallas fan, so I don't sympathize whenever they have problems. Okay, but Dak Prescott's a good guy. He's a what third round pick, fourth round pick, maybe second. I don't know. 
later round pick. He's a day two, day three pick at least. Day two pick. I think it's day two. I think they pick him up day two. Day two guy got very little money. Dallas refused to pay him more. And then when it came to him get his contract, they franchise tagged him. And now they don't have the money to pay him. They may want to pay him, but they don't have the money to pay him. And that's their their stupidity. They that's their screw up. That's their mess up. And I honestly do think he's a genuine good guy, and I would like to see him get paid. So if Washington is that team, and you know what, he puts us over the edge, he's definitely talented enough to make us better. Don't get me wrong. He's talented enough to make us better. He would make us a better football team instantaneously. You add Dak Prescott, like, you know, healthy Dak Prescott to the team I had last year, it's a 10-win team. There's a lot of games that were lost by Dwayne Haskins um, or that were lost early by other quarterbacks that would have been won with Dak because Dak can make throws, make plays with his legs, and he's just he's just another, another level of animal. I don't think he's the greatest pure quarterback. That's my – I think he's like a better version of Cam Newton, honestly. Um, I think he can he can throw more accurately than Cam Newton. That's, that's a better way to put it. I think he can run not quite as good as Cam Newton. But what Cam Newton is good at doesn't last long in the NFL, which is why Cam Newton's like gone down. He he can't run anymore. He's he's taking too many hits. Um, and what Dak Press or what uh, Cam Newton has sucked at, which he sucks at, um, you know, completion percentage. Dak has an increased ability in that. He has an increased. Um, his, he has a better ability in that than Cam Newton. You can blame receivers if you want to, but I think he's a better version of Cam, and that has a bad taste in my mouth. First, I don't like Cam Newton, but he's a better version, which is you know a better version of Cam is better than uh, Cam. And like I said, he can win games. He's proven that that team doesn't lose games because of him. They the teams wins games because of him. So that's my video. This is uh, the Redskin Report, uh, Washington Football Report. Um, please follow me on uh, Twitter. It's in the link that, or comment section that, or the, the information about the uh, um, eh, sorry. It's in the info about the video. So it's in the link uh, links down below. So it's in the link. It's in the not the bio, what's it called? The about section of the video. Okay, that's what I meant to say, sorry. Got a little distracted there for a second. I couldn't freaking put sentences in the words, or words in the sentences. <laughs> um, follow me on Twitter, uh, WFT Reports, and then follow me on Cited. Cited is a new website or new app, and I'm not sponsored by them, I just like the web. I think, I think it's a cool concept, where you can post uh, polls about uh, Washington football team, football, in general, college football, basketball, hockey, baseball, everything. You basically can just, it's just a website where you people debate sports and debate topics that are, uh, you know, uh, polarizing. So thank you for watching. Hail to the Redskins and uh, see ya.